Hello, welcome to the first session on area of parallelogram and triangles. The first, um, you know, portion which I would like you to um, uh, look into is the kind of figures on the same base and between the same parallel. What does what does it uh, refer to? Like. <coughs> that means when we are drawing two figures which are based on the same line and between the same parallel same base and par same parallel line suppose these are two parallel lines which are drawn i will be drawing any two figures with this one base suppose i have named this a uh, quadrilateral which is a b c d ultimately it becomes a parallelogram as i have drawn it um a b c d is based on this c d now i can draw and and, uh, and it is also between the parallel lines l m and p q if i draw any other figure maybe another parallelogram maybe another triangle suppose i am drawing another triangle not necessarily it is within that frame or i can even draw a triangle like this or even like this for all these figures along with a b c d i can name d e c is also having a base c d f d c having a base d c g e s g d c will also have that base d c all these can be referred to as the figures which are drawn between the parallel lines given as l m and p q and they all have the common base c d so this this is what is meant when it is said figures on the same base and between the same parallel sides because the first portion the first theorem which we'll be learning says the parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallel lines are equal in area we'll learn this I would draw that figure here maybe or I can write the question here it says parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area so we have to draw on the same base two parallel parallelograms so i'll draw a figure wherein we have two parallel lines and try to draw two parallelograms on a common base this is my first parallelogram the second one i'm using another color so that you know now i clear this part to give a complete figure now if you see carefully a b C D is a parallelogram the red one and E F C D is another parallelogram they both are drawn between C D on C D and between the two parallel lines this and this we have to prove the areas of these two parallelograms to be equal what we write here is to prove area a b c d is equal to area e f c d now i start proof here in triangle a d e and triangle b c f i am highlighting these two 
we are proving oh sorry we are proving the congruency of these two triangles if we prove the congruency of these two triangles the areas of these two will be equal because the part which is e b c d the white portion this one is actually common to both the parallelograms right so we can then add these common area to both the triangles thereby giving us the proof of area of ABCD equals area of EFCD. Let's continue. Now, how do we prove? As because they are parallelograms, the lines are parallel AD and BC, they are parallel lines. And suppose AF is a transversal, then what happens is angle. D A E will be equal to angle C B F this and this because they two become corresponding angles because A D and B C are parallel lines I can write here they are corresponding angles hmm. then uh, on the other hand which two can be made equal okay this angle can be made equal to this for the same reason so a e d can be equal to b f c the reason remains same corresponding angles as because e d and c f are parallel lines in a triangle obviously the third angle that remains is this will also be equal then angle a d though we don't need it actually a b sorry i made a d e will be equal to b c f AD is also be equal to BC. We can apply actually ASA rule. Hmm. Though we don't need this. Therefore, triangle ADE is congruent to triangle BCF. We can write ASA rule of congruency. These two areas will be equal because congruent figures have equal area. So, area of I can write here I can write here congruent figures have equal areas so area of A D E is equal to area of B C F now adding this area E B C D to both the sides area A D E plus area of E B C D equals area B C F equal plus area e b c d they will give us area of a d e plus this gives us this one will give area of a b c d i'm sorry for the scrunchiness uh, while i'm writing area of b c f along with this gives us the area e f c d so thereby proving us that these two areas are equal let's move on to take up another question I will draw a figure first. Yeah. 
yeah I'm done with the figure let me mark them it's A B C D seems a parallelogram E F C D this is marked as 90 degrees the question says a b c d is a parallelogram and e f c d is a rectangle it also says this one is l i forgot to write it says a l is perpendicular to d c you prove that area of a b c d is equal to area of e f c d this will be simple we can apply the previous theorem which we learned area of a b c d will also be equal to d l into a l see the first one is pretty simple we can directly write here the first one as a rectangle is first of all also a parallelogram right this a uh, sorry e f c d is also a parallelogram because previously we have read that parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallel lines are equal in area so the two parallelograms uh, that is a b c d is given to be a parallelogram and e f c d given a rectangle are both parallelograms right when two parallelograms between on the same base and between same parallels will have the same they have the equal area therefore area a b c d equals area e f c d here you can write actually the theorem come to the second one area of a b c d okay can be equal to expressed as see area of a b c d is given to the area or equal to the area of e f c d how do we find area of e f c d which is a rectangle area of e f c d c d a rectangle is length into breadth sorry um uh, yeah it will be length into breadth so what is it it is d c into f c right so area of a b c d can also be equated to d c into f c as because a l is also perpendicular to d c that means a l is actually equi um yeah a l will be equivalent to f c because f c is also perpendicular a l also perpendicular thereby making f c equal to a c since a l is also perpendicular to d c so you can substitute f c with a l and as because area of this is equal to that i mean a that means it is a b c d you can write area of a b c d is equal to d c into a l hope you followed it we take up more questions in next few sessions thank you